Behind me, you can see uh, people queuing up to uh, get food from an NGO that provides them hot food. These are homeless people, and one does wonder what kind of vulnerability they are given out to, and also what is happening with regards to their uh, their precaution and protection uh, from the coronavirus. I'm here joined by Daljinder, who uh, also volunteers here, but is also a health professional uh, and and I just want to understand from you Daljeet if I may ask you that thank you for joining us as to uh, what is the preparation for people like these who are most vulnerable uh, and not only are they uh, at, at risk from us but we are at risk from them too absolutely um, so yes so we've done uh, we've actually done quite a few measures uh, to prevent firstly our volunteers from getting ill uh, we are as much as we're here to help, we don't want to do it at the risk of our volunteers who come out and give their time and give their efforts to uh, to serve this community. Uh, so we've we've done a series of measures, uh, things like providing hand gel, personal protection equipment, masks, gloves. Uh, we've also done a, a policy now where we're pre-packing food. The idea behind that is if we if we come here pre-packed food, uh, we can do the service very quickly and reduce the risk of exposure to our volunteers. So, Any, any um, indication or any policy you have had from the government to deal with them? Because we hear this COBRA meeting every, ha happening every day, there are updates every day. What update do you have with regards to the homeless? Uh, so we use NHS guidance, so Public Health England guidance. Uh, we're all healthcare professionals, so in my workplace, uh, we use the NHS Public Health uh, England uh, and uh, guidance on what we should do, what we need to look out for. So currently, today, it's changed again. We're looking for anyone who's got symptoms of a uh, high temperature or have got a new progressive cough that's developed. Uh, so these are all, um, and once this has uh, been identified, then they need to self no, But with regards to the homeless, is there anything special? Because they they have no homes. Nothing specific for the homeless, so nothing. Uh, they are just as vulnerable as the elderly or any other group, so they're treated the same, um, but there's no direction for them specifically, no. Right. Are they worried? Have you interacted with them? How worried are they? Um, yes, so we have interacted with them. We have. Uh, I've personally dealt with p cases that I potentially could have been coronavirus, um, uh, and the, the, the threat is real. Uh, the threat for us uh, as healthcare professionals is real. Uh, however, we are passionate to maintain our service. Uh, the key thing is Sikhs, uh, it's in our uh, principles as Sikhs uh, to serve those in need. And that service doesn't stop just because times become difficult. Uh, we, we, we need to persevere through. Uh, so we haven't stopped our, we haven't stopped our outreach projects. Uh, we're still continuing. Uh, we put in measures to protect ourselves. Uh, but we, as you can see behind me, we're still here. We're still serving, even though there is this uh, public health crisis. Okay. What is it that you could suggest to the government to do extra for the homeless? What, what would that what would help? Um, so, to be honest, there's, there's nothing in particular that would help uh, for the homeless compared to any other population group. Um, they're just as, as risk. Um, the difference is that they haven't got access to hygiene. They haven't got access to so hygiene products. They haven't got access to clean, uh, to, let's say, wash your hands. So the current, current government guidance is to wash your hands. However, if you're living on the streets, you haven't got access to water. You haven't got access to soap. How do you do that? Um, so what we're doing is we provide hygiene packs. So we provide wipes, tissues, uh, soap everything you need as well for, so you can maintain your hygiene whilst you're living on the streets you're somewhere. running short now though uh, no, we still got we still got supplies. We've got we've got we've got a big warehouse. We've got really uh, passionate uh, uh, donors who who keep on donating to us and in our warehouse. So we've got supplies and we get teams of people coming in to prepare these packs and hand them out as well. So it's good. Thank yeah. you very very much. Uh, a lot of people doing for each other and standing for the community. Something that's required at this point in time, especially the homeless. Somewhere they just slip out of the system and slip out of the thoughts of people as well. But they are as vulnerable and they make us as well as vulnerable uh, to the COVID-19. So very, very important to keep them in the thought and possibly for government to take special measures and keep them in their thoughts as well. Levine.